Lindsay Boach joins us now. Yeah, and if this isn't good TV, I don't know what is. She's cleaning out her sinuses this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's going to come um, in about an hour and a half. We're going to do that. Or about an hour, I guess. We're going to clean out the sinuses. But we're talking about them first and getting uh, you guys prepared for this because uh, it's going to be great TV. You're absolutely right, Hannah. Uh, but we are learning what your sinuses are. What's the difference between sinuses and allergy problems? And Dr. Justin Amhoff joins me. And what are your sinuses? Your sinuses are a series of air-filled cavities within your uh, uh, nasal, or that come off of your nasal passageways and in the intracranial cavity. This is a, a view of some of them. We have some that are located here above our forehead called the frontal sinuses, uh, two beneath the eyes uh, called the maxillary sinuses, and then a series that run right between the eyes uh, back towards the back of the nose. And uh, so a common question that people have when they come into the office is, I have this nasal congestion, is this due to allergies or is this due to sinuses? And that can sometimes be a very difficult question to answer. And so uh, that becomes our uh, challenge. A lot of times uh, things associated with allergies more so than necessarily sinus disease are itchy, watery eyes, mm -hmm. um, fever, facial pressure and pain, and mm -hmm. uh, real thick yellow or green mucus coming from the nose mm -hmm. is typically more associated with uh, sinus disease. Now allergies can lead to sinus disease because inflammation caused from allergies can actually block up the little openings of the sinuses that lead into the nasal passageways and um, cause a buildup of mucus in behind the uh, blocked passage or blocked opening and uh, cause some real issues. Now I've heard of a deviated septum. What does that mean? Your nasal septum divides the two sides of your nose and is actually pictured here on this uh, particular graphic from a side view and a deviated septum means you just have it bent one way okay. more than the other. So. What would that do? Uh, how would you know if you have one of those? Typically the uh, signs and symptoms of a deviated septum would just be unilateral nasal congestion meaning one side more than the other. Um, sometimes people will have uh, difficulty with nasal saline irrigation if you have a deviated nasal septum it may be more difficult to get the saline to enter the nose on one side if it is pushed over that direction. Okay, and we're going to learn a little bit more about the irrigation, nasal irrigation. That's what the neti pot is, and that's what I showed you earlier. It kind of looks like Aladdin's magic pot. Uh, I guess it is magical in, in some sort of way. A genie doesn't pop out, but uh, we'll show you what will coming up. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't, don't finish that sentence. It's not the genie that pops out. No, something of, else yeah, does. Yeah, something else. <laughs> it's Kate Gray this morning. Yeah. Lindsay Boach is with us now in our little monitor over here. Yeah, she's live in Hannibal. What do you have to, Lindsay? We are talking about our sinuses this morning. I know it's a great topic to, to think about right when you wake up, but maybe you're waking up and you have some sinus pressure, or uh, maybe your sinuses are a little bit clogged. Well, we have a few things that we're going to talk about that might help you out. One of those is a neti pot, and uh, Dr. Justin Imhoff joins me. How do these things work? Well, basically, these are, uh, there's two different methods to deliver nasal saline into the intranasal cavity. There's the neti pot, which you see here, and uses gravity to allow water to fill up the nasal cavity and wash um, the uh, mucosa or the lining of the uh, nasal cavity and somewhat of the sinuses. And then there's also another bottle that you can purchase that you use pressure, essentially, as opposed to gravity to uh, distribute the water throughout the nasal cavity. What's the difference between using one of these if you have allergies or if you have sinus issues? Yeah, so with, the, with this, the idea between, uh, behind uh, saline irrigation for allergies is that when you have a high pollen count in the air, you inhale that pollen in through the nose mm -hmm. and it sets on your nasal mucosa in here. When it does, it starts an inflammatory reaction. Mm -hmm. And those, uh, that inflammatory reaction is where we aim most of our drugs at, at stopping. Mm -hmm. And that's how we control some of the symptoms associated with allergies. Saline will actually wash those little allergens, those little particles of pollen off of the nasal mucosa before that inflammatory reaction has a chance to start. So who should use nasal irrigation? Well, it depends. I mean, if, if people are uh, uh, suffering from allergies, um, you know, throughout the year, even just during allergy season, it's a good alternative to some medical therapy because the side effects are fairly uh, favorable mm -hmm. when compared to a lot of the medicines we take for allergies. Are there any side effects with these? Typically people will complain of things like some nasal burning. I've had some people complain of headache and uh, things like that, but uh, if you follow the instructions provided with the, uh, the product, then they're very safe and side effects are fairly minimal. 
All right, we're going to go through uh, all of those instructions and actually a little demonstration. I, I will warn you, I did practice this last night to make sure that I wouldn't uh, choke literally on air. Um, it, it's a very weird feeling, and uh, hopefully it doesn't gross you out too much. At home alone, so if you did choke, you would have <laughs> not been in good shape. I Are, knew she was doing it. Somebody would have came and found her. Somebody would have come to her, her rescue. <laughs> Are they safe to share? Like, can a family share a neti pot and and pass along or should each member of the family have their own? Um, I would probably, just for my own sake, have my own. I think you can probably wash them pretty good, but uh, If only you had I a doctor nearby, you could pass <laughs> your own. Mm. Mm. All right, thanks, Lindsay.